This is the Lock Picking Lawyer, and the lock I have for you today is a multi-lock classic mortise cylinder. It's brand new, just came out of the box. It's one of their UL rated cylinders, says so on the box and again on the face of the lock, which I believe the UL rating for these multi-locks, the only difference is it has a little bit more drill protection. I have all the keys that came with it, works very nicely, no problems there. Now I've picked an awful lot of the multi-lock interactives on this channel, but not so many classics. And frankly, I think the classics are a little harder. It's for a couple reasons. First, the keyway is just a little bit tighter. Nothing we can't handle, but, but certainly adds a, a new obstacle. And second, with the interactive, you always know the interactive chamber is gonna be set really high. And in that regard, it's a bit like the free space on a bingo card. You're going to get it no matter what. Not so with the Classic. With the Classic, any pin can be set at any height, and so it adds a little bit more, or a little bit more uncertainty to it. So let's try to pick this guy open, then I'll take it apart and show you what's inside. We're going to start looking for binding outer pins. One is loose, two is loose. Okay, got a click out of three. Still binding four, or another click out of three. Another one, definitely serrated. Okay, nice big click, and I think we just got three set. Moving on to four. Okay, a couple clicks out of him. On to five, he's binding. Click out of him. Another click. And I don't feel anything else. So maybe he's set. Okay, let's go back to one. Okay, one's binding. Okay, got a nice click out of him. Two, outer pin set, but I, I hit the inner pin and I guess we just dropped into that nice deep false set. On multi-locks, that deep false set means all we have left is some inner driver pins. So let's go hunting for them. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, none of them did anything, which means we probably have an overset inner key pin. And I just jiggle the core a bit. That should drop them down. Let's try again. Okay, got an inner driver on three, nothing on four, and we got her open on five. Okay, not too tough a pick. Let's open it up and I'll show you what's inside this lock. Okay, since we do have the key, I can relock this. And we have a couple screws in the back to take the cam off. Okay, so let's get a key. And turn it just a little bit. Hopefully we won't run into any. There we go. Always a problem with the multi-locks with uh, dropping inner driver pins into either the side here or maybe one of the holes in the side of the core. You really, really need to be careful when gutting these things. Okay, let's drop these key pins out. Standards in one, two, three. Spooled outer pin on four, and standard on five. Let me arrange these, and then we'll get the driver pins out. Driver pins, every one that was deep enough for me to, to get a feel for it felt serrated. So that's what I'm expecting to see in there. Let's see if that's correct. Okay, one is definitely serrated. Really nice looking pin there. Same on two. Same on three. Oh. 
What's going on? There we go. Four. Get in there. And five. Okay, pretty much exactly what it felt like. A lot of serrated pins. Not too difficult with these serrated pins. As I've mentioned in previous videos, if you just feel and listen for that sharper click, it takes a lot of mystery out of them. Okay, let me, uh, let me give you a close-up of everything here. But before I do that, let me show you the drill protection you get on the inside of that cylinder. You can see three hardened inserts on the top protecting the pin stack. And then with the, with the core, you can see above and below the keyway, there's hardened inserts, and then another right on the front protecting the key pins. So a lot of drill protection there. Okay, zooming in on these key pins, you can see all standard except for the outer key pin on number four, and the driver pins are all serrated. So that's all I have for you on this multi-lock classic mortise cylinder. If you have any questions or comments, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe, and as always, have a nice day. Thank you.